we would like to present to you a short annual report for 2020 of the Bangladesh Working Group on External Debt, BWGED. As we know, BWGED started its journey in 2013 in a South Asia workshop on strategic planning organized by the NGO Forum on ADB. Then, in a workshop in February 2015, we decided on the four thematic areas of focus – climate change and environment, energy and power, water and natural resources, and large infrastructure. On our journey, we have chosen the immunity that IFIs enjoy, their safeguard policies, and the energy sector as the three key issues to work on, considering the environmental, gender, human rights, and livelihood aspects of affected communities. In 2020, BWGED started with a lot of enthusiasm to organize a number of campaigns on energy and climate change. On the 2nd of January 2020, a workshop was organized on Bangladesh energy scenario, reality and vision in Dhaka. 17 campaigners participated in the meeting where we designed some of the activities to be undertaken in the year. Then, due to the outbreak of COVID-19, we could not organize many of the activities planned. We had to change all our plans, and that actually contributed to this year becoming a rather successful year for the working group. Quite literally, BWGED had no financial resources in 2020. Like many of you, CLEAN, Coastal Livelihood and Environmental Action Network, supported us with the finance and human resources for the programs. It should be mentioned that the pandemic gave us an opportunity to get national and international resource persons into our dialogues, which we couldn't do during normal times. Many international networks have sufficient resources to invite these people to join any meeting physically, but we don't. We, however, managed to do it using online platforms. Online meetings. In the year 2020, we organized 14 online meetings, dialogues and rallies, both standalone and in cooperation with 32 organizations and networks from Bangladesh and all over the world. 1,202 people from 34 countries joined us. Among the participants, 97 distinguished persons, researchers and activists delivered their valuable speeches in different programs. The male-female ratio of the participants was 63% versus 37%. We have to work more to ensure gender equality here. Because of the pandemic, we started our online meetings from the 30th of April 2020 on the energy sector of Bangladesh, present situation and demands of civil society. Members of the BWGED participated in this meeting. We are grateful to Pran for providing support in using the Zoom platform for the meeting. Before the National Budget 2020, we organized an online seminar on external debt, energy, and prospect of economic recovery in Bangladesh, together with DBM, JAXES, NGO Forum on ADB, and Urgewald on the 2nd of June 2020, to focus on the economic aspects of energy investments in Bangladesh. We organized a follow-up meeting on the same topic on the 26th of June 2020, together with LNSP, to review the budget presented in the National Parliament. We organized an online rally on 16th September 2020 during the annual meeting of Asian Development Bank, ADB, in collaboration with the NGO Forum on ADB, APMDD, PMCJ, BWI, AEPF, and INSAF. The rally sent a message to the ADB 
to stop financing dirty energy projects. Another online rally was organized on 23rd September 2021 on the negative aspects of Matarbari coal power plant together with 13 organizations including 350.org, BAPA, BELA, CEPR, Change Initiative, Growth Watch, INSAF, JAXIS, Fulmari Solidarity Group, Shongstapok, Urgewald and Waterkeepers Bangladesh. We organized a meeting on the challenges of energy sector immunity in Bangladesh on the 10th of July 2020, together with the School of People's Law, where prominent lawyers of Bangladesh discussed the non-compliances of the quick enhancement of electricity and energy supply, Special Provisions Act 2010. We began another series of online programs called Listen to Bangladesh on the 24th of August and 4th September, where affected communities from Matarbari, Kohilia, Maheshkhali, Paira, Rampal, and Barguna met with national and international activists to describe the sufferings of local people due to fossil fuel investments in those areas. We are thankful to ActionAid Bangladesh for supporting us to organize these events. Bilateral Cooperation In collaboration with Growth Watch, INSAF, LNSP and SEPAC, we organized a bilateral dialogue called Indo-Bangla Energy Dialogue on the 20th of July 2020 to discuss common issues and concerns towards a common movement on fossil fuel investments and climate change. Following that dialogue, we organized a webinar on Adani and Godda coal power plant on the 10th of August 2020 with IPWA, Environix Trust, Growth Watch, INSAF and MMP. Another webinar on toxic fly ash trade in the World Heritage Site was organized together with Bela, Clean, Growth Watch, Healthy Energy Initiative India and INSAF on the 6th of November 2020 in solidarity with the fishermen group who had filed a case in the National Green Tribunal of India against pollution. Our Japanese friends were always with us in several meetings. Submission of memorandums and campaigns against Japanese investments in the fossil fuel energy sector of Bangladesh. To build greater ties with like-minded Chinese friends, we organized the China-Bangla Energy Dialogue together with Clean, the Third Pole and Orgewald on the 30th of October 2020. International Dialogue on completion of the bilateral discussion and webinars on different issues, we organized an international dialogue on energy investment in Bangladesh. Fifteen international organizations, including APMDD, Bank Track, Clean, Green Camel Bell, Growth Watch, IAP, INSAF, JAXIS, Kruha, Market Forces, NGO Forum on ADB, Fulbari Solidarity Group, Recourse, The Sunrise Project and Urgewald joined us in solidarity with Bangladesh. A course of actions had been formulated in the dialogue. The co-organizers also came together on the 25th of January 2021 in a follow-up meeting on the international dialogue to finalize the action points. We are now in the process of implementing the actions decided on in the international dialogue and the follow-up meeting. Statements and appeals. On 13th January 2020, we sent a letter of congratulations to the Prime Minister with an appeal to cancel all fossil fuel power plants, especially coal, as she had been elected chairperson of Climate Vulnerable Forum, CVF, in December 2020. 53 organizations nationally and globally signed the petition. We also sent a letter to Mitsubishi, Sumitomo and Marubeni on the 18th of January 2020 to stop building fossil fuel, especially coal-based power plants in Bangladesh. On 10th April 2020, 
we sent a letter to 34 bilateral and multilateral financing institutes to cancel debt services of Bangladesh due to the COVID-19 outbreak. 123 national and international organizations signed on to this document in solidarity with us. We sent a letter to JICA on 2nd June 2020 to not finance installation of both the first and second phases of Matarbari coal power plant. 44 national and international organizations signed on to this letter. In cooperation with JAXIS and APMDD, we participated in the week-long campaign against the annual meetings of major energy sector investors of Japan and wrote a letter to the stakeholders of Sumitomo Corporation on the 19th of June 2020 appealing to not invest any more in the fossil fuel sector in Bangladesh. On 19th August 2020, we sent a letter to the Japanese and Bangladeshi policymakers to drop TEPCO from the consultancy for review of the Power System Master Plan, PSMP 2021 of Bangladesh. When the minister declared that the government is thinking to reduce the target of coal power plants, we sent a letter to the power minister of Bangladesh to close down all coal power plants which are under construction or in the plan now. Online campaign. After the outbreak of COVID-19, we started a campaign jointly with Pran and CSRL with demands of cancelling debt services, allocation of additional budget for agriculture and food security, capacity building of health infrastructure and cancellation of capacity charges to the private power producers. Publications. Fact sheet on the power system upgrade and expansion project in Chittagong which is ultimately supporting the coal power plants in Chittagong's Cox's Bazar zone. Study report on summit group's investment in the energy sector of Bangladesh. Case study on Borisal, Khulna and Cox's Bazar. Oxfam Hong Kong supported CLEAN to conduct the study through NGO Forum on ADB. We took the opportunity to join with CLEAN on the job. Unpacking Chinese Financial Institutes for Campaigners Study report on Borisal Coal Power Plant financed under Belt and Road Initiative, BRI. On 7th April 2020, the daily Shomukal published an op-ed written by Masood, Mukta and Mehdi on external debt and economic aspects of COVID-19. On 10th August 2020, Daily Shomukal published another op-ed written by Hassan Mehdi on the potential of renewables in Bangladesh and yet another op-ed on the plan to ensure 100% renewables in Bangladesh by Mehdi. Media reports. In 2020, 59 reports on our activities were published in the major newspapers of Bangladesh. The newspapers include The Business Standard, The Daily Star, The Daily Desh Rupantar, The Business Post, The Daily Bonik Bartha, The Daily Prathamalo, The Daily Shara Bangla, The Observer, The Daily Shamukal, The BDNews24.com, uh, The New Age and The Bangla News 24com Thanks go to Global Strategic Communication Council, GSCC, for supporting us in media outreach. We are also grateful to our supporting organizations in 2020, especially 350.org South Asia, IPWA, APMDD, BELA, BAPA, Banktrack Netherlands, uh, CSRL, CEPR, Change Initiative, CLEAN, DBM, Environix Trust India, Green Camel Bell, uh, GCB uh, China, Green Innovation Hub China, Growth Watch India, INSAF, IAP, JAXUS Japan, Kruha, 
LNSP, Market Forces Australia, MMP India, Pran, Fulbari Solidarity Group UK, Recourse, SOPL, Shongstapok, uh, SAPAC India, The Sunrise Project United States, the Third Pole China, Urgewal Germany, and Waterkeepers Bangladesh. We also pay our hearty thanks to the guests and speakers, including, but not limited to, lawmaker Sabir Hussain Chaudhary from Bangladesh, Jatiyo Shongshad, lawmaker Vinod Singh from Jharkhand, India, lawmaker Pradeep Yadav from Jharkhand, India, Professor Anu Mohammed from Jahangir Nagar University, advocate Sayyida. Rizwana Hassan from Bela, Iftikar Zaman from Transparency International Bangladesh, Omar El Mavi from Decolonize Kenya, Dr. Nora Sausmikat from Urgewal, Germany, journalist and author Paranjoy Guha Thakurta from India, Henrique Butigen from Banktrack, Netherlands, Ryan Hassan from NGO Forum on ADB, Philippines, Lady Nakpil from APMDD, Philippines, Beth Walker from the China Dialogue UK, Tim Buckley from AIFA, and many others listed here. Thank you everybody for being with us in the year 2020. We hope to work with all of you again in 2021.